All right, guys, we got a little live trade counter trend set up here. As you can see, we are over volume area high on the futures and just coming into it now on the queues uh, and others. So I'm looking at a ES trade here. Seeing if we can't fill way above our area zone here. No, thanks. Order filled. Yeah, we got a fill there on the old ES telling the ask. And again, we are above volume area high pretty far on ES here. So what you do is you play the counter trend when there's an extension. The top for me is yesterday's Fibonacci from the gap. So if we push up just a little bit more, we'll get one fill. Push up a little bit more, we'll get another one. And right around here, we have a pretty large box. Order right here, filled. Yes. Got two of the fills there. So between 497, 497, 26, approximately two to four points up there. And Q's already taking a little bit of a dive there. Same with our ES, tiny scalps in the pre market. Average is 4998. I wouldn't mind a further push up here. I'd like to kind of get to the 5,000 psychological number, maybe another point or two up. So I got a couple more contracts, better average. getting further push which is good like i said getting into the trade here we want to see spy push up into a little bit more ex exhaustion a little bit more extension uh into the 100 fib here 497.5 maybe a little bit past it will be nice here <clears throat> put this on a little longer time before we get back up here let's set some orders up near here and here, 5001, 5002. Just gonna walk this up here. The 666 15 minute <clears throat> is coming up here. So I'll put a few orders higher if it dumps now. This is why we slowly average into these uh, always because we are working on getting our best average for a trade that we have a great sentiment on pullback for. And these occur when you have no data to worry about, no random CPI, jobless claims, retail sales to pop up, nothing like that. Pure technical analysis here. Unless we get a world news hit of some kind of craziness. So we know that pushing into a bigger resistance like 666, 15 minute, and then psychological half dollar, whole dollar, 5,000. <laughs> and then we know on the minute chart um, below, we are extended over the volume area high, which is a favorite of mine for small scalps so we just gotta get some more jam here and put on and then if we start to roll already we're at least already in the trade with a couple contracts so if we start to do a breakdown here and come back and test um a little lower we'll take you know a little hundred dollar scalp here or there and if we continue pushing we'll get our much better entry where we can push into some heavy resistance snap through it a little bit right you expect it to kind of pop in and, and pass just a little bit and worst case scenario, we add all the way up to the 200, and then we'll get a pullback um, somewhere here, pending back the uh, volume rate highs, because usually the volume rate highs, once they start extending, you could use, again, we trade both NQs and ES, all depends on what the trade setup is. Right now, this is volume area high on the one minute on Qs. It's not price action over. We do have the ES just getting over price action here. And we broke over the POC, which means being over volume area highs, nearing 
resistance zone. We'll see a light pullback back down to either the POC if we don't get a recalculation POC scam there, or we'll get a nice fast push up and find some resistance near 497.26 we can add into and then get a pullback to volume area highs and POC. So this is a short we will build into getting the best averages we can on extension. <clears throat> We're not getting a little, not getting much help from the dollar or the VIX. So, really technical play here. We need the NQ to break out here in a little bit, and then uh, we might get our draw pull that we need on the ES. But we're right at 5K, so I'm expecting you know just a further little blip up there into the 5K from our 4998 entry. Go a couple points higher. Hopefully, we can get some better uh, interest then on our contracts, better averages as well. You can see if I bring over the futures contracts on the ES, the NQ is extended from its volume profile here, but the SPY is more extended and it needs a little bit of a back test potentially um, of some prior supports just when it gets extended like this. So pushing up near 5K now, there's that psychological half hole dollar. This is where you usually can see maybe a FOMO squeeze and the shorts get squeezed out if they get too far past 5K, but we're looking to add into this because we're not paper hands. We know exactly what's going on here. <clears throat> so we're just into that 66. This needs a little bit more fill. Let's throw another one right there just in case we get our little pop here. Then our average will move up. And the next fat red candle down, we'll scoop a few points on some ES. VIX is tumbling a little bit there. Not too shabby at all. <clears throat> just got to find a little key support there. We'll have a little resistance coming up on a couple different volume profiles too. We're coming into POC in a couple different areas here. We definitely have a, a room for a little pullback, nothing too crazy. So this one will be quick. It's not going to be a bigger pullback where I'm looking for four to five points. I have to wait till the VWAP will catch up for that one. So the top VWAP here, we're going for uh, the purple VWAP back test long. So we need one more pullback, which I'll, which I'll play here at the 100 fib. Do a little pullback, grab my little green, and then we'll get up to the purple VWAP and see if there's another reaction down there or if it mounts that and just kind of messes around at the gap because right now the gap is what we're kind of worried about, that gap open. Because once we get into the 100 fib, because that'll be our fib box, of course, this is our box. If we get inside the box, we always range back towards the golden pocket. So we'll get up to 496.7 for the day, potentially pushing into the gap without a fill. And we'll turn around after a push. So we'll push into the gap, turn around, come on down. Price is right. So we'll see this one play out hopefully clean. <clears throat> Just needed to push a little farther there. It's pretty lazy. And again, they, they go for these nice little minute moves where they slow everything down so you can just see the candles are tiny as can be. But, um, yeah, slow and steady here. <clears throat> it shied right at 5K. That's what we kind of expected. I was hoping to get those averages, though, for a push into 5K, you know, blip into the 666 because we didn't really hit it yet. We kind of just on it. If it calculates down into it, that's just the algos doing the manipulation slow play. But it is what it is. All right. New 15-minute candle. I'm really hoping this one is the final push. So we can get up to some of these <clears throat> better averages. And again, if it just washes here and dumps down, I'll take the... I'll take the $100 win, point or two down, and I'll reset for another push long, or I'll reset for the short if we get continued trend up. We'll see what the oscillation indicators tell me. So right now on the one minute chart, the NQ did its short, ES is doing its short as we needed it to, but um, yeah, back down to volume area high is the short play that I wanna see, which is way down here, like 4,090, but I think we can, we can loop up here again because we got a little little W pattern action here. 
comes down to the center, holds that, does another scam up. Same thing here, very lazy W, comes down near center W. Then goes back up, and I'll reset either trade for long or short, just kind of depending on what we see on the RSI and the MAC. Right now we're getting some MAC crosses, and it looks like she has a little bit of a tumble to it, um, which is fine. But we'll see if that wants to uh, negate or not. I mean, we can still go sideways and not do a whole lot, but we'll see. I'm back down to our average now here. On all six accounts. <clears throat> and usually chasing the moving averages on the longer standing time frames, we get over the 100 EMA like this. We back test the 100 EMA of support, comes back up to the 666, then it has to make a choice because we're going to hit the 666 here in the purple. And are we going to snap that, break it, chase down the 200? Or are we going to break this down and come back down and test a 50 and retest consolidation for lower or higher, right? So it's either going to come back up to the 200 up here or 50 down here. We're not really going to stay in the trade for that long because we're at a decent scalp. So Order filled. They're ready. Like I said, I'll take my profit at, you know, just a hundred some dollar scalp. There's one pickup there. It's getting a little bit less, pushing down a little bit more there. Oh, well, it looked like it was. The candle moved a couple times down, but no PL adjustment. There we go. So, again, we locked in one, and now we're looking for a back test, you know, volume area high down here, 4990, so on and so forth. Uh, we're kind of washing through the RSIs. The max are on good crosses here. Again, we just call these tops every single day over extension. Uh, they're very easy. I was really hoping for a bigger trade on this one. Like I said, getting back up higher there over the 4K, but so let's take my profit, come back down to a reputable support like volume area highs or something close to. We already looped the 100 EMA a little bit here, and we'll back test kind of the center, hopefully come back down just a smidge more, maybe get another bid out of her here. Okay. Order filled. Get that bid fill I wanted, so exited the small scalp. Now I get to reset for the next trade. So we're 131 for two ES contracts. Well, just over point. Like I said, small scalp for me on that one. Overextended, over volume area high. One minute, very tiny guy. And we'll tune in for the next live.